And Trump's visit to Wisconsin next week comes as the former president is debunking a report that he called Milwaukee a horrible city. That report from Punchbowl News, NBC News, CNN also confirming it happened. Trump told House Republicans during a meeting today, Milwaukee's a horrible city. The president called that report fake news. What do we make of this? Because Brian Jenkins in the newsroom, you've been gathering reaction to this all afternoon. The president also said at the same time it was fake news, he explained what he meant when he said it. Yeah, Steve, word of the former president's reported remarks made headlines pretty fast. What was missing initially was the context in which the former president said Milwaukee is a horrible city. His campaign now saying that the journalist who originally reported this, Jake Sherman, was lying and that the former president was explicitly referring to problems in Milwaukee like violent crime and voter fraud. Trump staffers also point out that multiple Wisconsin Republicans quickly took to social media to clear things up. But for some, that is where the confusion lies, because there were several different takes on what happened earlier today. Congressman Brian Stile posted online saying, I was in the room. President Trump did not say this. While Congressman Derek Van Orden pointed to the crime rate in Milwaukee in his statement about what the former president was talking about. Other Republicans mentioned voter fraud. On the other side of the aisle, Democrats are seizing the opportunity to defend Milwaukee. Senator Tammy Baldwin saying, quote, Milwaukee is home to some of our most vibrant communities, hardest workers, and is part of what makes Wisconsin the best state in the nation. Donald Trump wouldn't understand even if a jury told him so, end quote. And Congresswoman Gwen Moore posted, quote, once he settled in with his parole officer, I am certain he will discover that Milwaukee is a wonderful, vibrant and welcoming city full of diverse neighborhoods and a thriving business community. We also asked Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson for his reaction as well. Donald Trump wants to talk about things that he thinks are horrible. Uh, all of us live through his presidency, so right back at you, buddy. And it appears that uh, that Donald Trump just does not like cities. And these urban challenges are not unique to Milwaukee. They exist in cities all across the United States. Uh, but I'm proud to say that in Milwaukee, we're making progress. Another notable reaction today came from the Metropolitan Milwaukee Association of Commerce, or MMAC, who said, in part, quote, Donald Trump's comments are flatly wrong. Milwaukee is, in a word, vibrant. Steve? Ryan, thanks for trying to make sense of all that. The former president also held a news conference today. Did he take any opportunity to clear things up? Well, the former president did have a press conference where he touted the unity within the GOP. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson was standing right there behind him during that. Now, Trump did not mention his comments about Milwaukee, then ignored questions from reporters as he left the room after making his remarks. All right, Ryan Jenkins, live for us in our newsroom. Ryan, thank you.